Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome to the third episode of the Whale of Darwinian campaign. We are just taking Warfest in the name of the wine, as I like to say. And it's just the general remaining. We're just going to defeat him and then we're going to see a wonderful episode where we're going to launch a naval invasion on Rune. As well, we are going to target Mistran and hopefully bring down the capital of the Easterlings. Alright, they are brought down. 22 lost, 70 killed. That's wonderful. So now, I want to ask you guys a question. What place in Middle-earth would you have traveled to if you had a chance? For me, it would probably have been... And this is like... You can decide whatever age you want and or you can say one settlement per age for example in the first age i would have liked to travel to gondolin in the second age i would have wanted to travel to numenor and in the third age Your enemies lie that defeated. is a bit harder These lands but are i i love gondor so probably minas tirith ah we got some money from that that was wonderful and I'm Orders. probably auto building something. Alright, so what we are going to do now, I should actually have sacked this place. I mean exterminated it. That is a bummer. Orders. I forgot about that. Will, Let's see what will happen. Orders. Yeah, they're going to be very, very mad. Your will, by your That's not going to be sufficient enough. But we can recruit more units here in not too long. Uh, I'm actually thinking yes. about just heading We're ready to ambush the straight enemy. up for this tower. town right here. However, we also want to keep a watch on Mordor, but they're probably going to take Varfest from us sooner or later anyways, to be completely honest with you. It's just preventing Rune from having the settlement. We're barely making any money out of it with these guys. We're not even making money. Will this make a difference? No, not really. Alright, head up for Ossineri. Now, let's see, we are getting some reinforcements to Enmahad, which is not really doing that fine. It will be nice to get Osineri out of this place so that the western border is safe. And here we have Nurve. That battle last episode, that was out of, our, out of this world. We only have four left of these guys. And for the seven of these, like that was such a glorious battle. Three left with Silver Chevrons. But we do have a force here ready to attack. And next turn and we will also get a ship the next turn and then we'll be able to ship out these troops and at least retake Nuborka but I'm more tempted to actually go and hit them over on this side yes my lord. we'll see but I think we can just end the turn right there so now it's finally starting to become very warm in Norway we're finally seeing 20 degrees Celsius which is Pretty amazing, to be honest. And all the snow has finally vanished. It has been here for such a long time. But it's finally gone. And that's really nice. Oh, there's a lot of armies we could attack right outside the streets right here in Mi in Mistrand. But we do not have the force just yet. Mordor. Greetings. I'll Asking for trade rights. For you today. No, we are not on your team, Mordor. We understand. Goodbye. Yeah, they're probably going to attack us. Right after they have asked for such a bidding. But they have seen that we are a new power in the east. And that it's over and out for Rune. And they have to find a new strong ally. Merchant skill. I'm not going to build that at the moment. We don't have a lot of money. Alright, Captain Dara. Yeah, that is not really a strong force. But Eggdu is also coming over here. We need to head out with these guys. And we need to... Yeah, we got a... We just gotta put these armies together. I don't think there's any way we can defeat this army. They have horsemen. Yes, my lord. Alright, we're going to leave behind one of those. That's going to be sufficient enough. And let's see here what we do want to bring into this army. Want to bring a little bit of those health units. These are going to be fine. And I want to bring the Avari just for the sake of it. I don't feel like abandoning these guys after battle. Let's just bring them all. Oh, we can't actually do that. 
Well, if we should have chosen someone, it's gotta be those. These guys will sadly have to be abandoned. But they will continue to live their free lives. Alright, now we got a real force here in Karvarad. We got a lot of troops, and that is over here, of course. Oh yeah, that's just for garrison troops. Captain Yashan. Alright, this army will head out the next turn. And in the meantime, we can not really recruit anything anyways. Strondos, very nice with some mining network. We definitely need that. But our money is pretty bad now. We gotta wait a little bit and let Nurve yes, take Mistran and then we'll be flowing over with gold and silver. There we go. These guys are happy now. Let's send Vine Lord Swain up here. It looks pretty empty at the moment, but we do not know what will face us. These guys are going to attack as well. Dale is up here, but they're allied. That's wonderful seeing our allies. It's always a blessing in such times. I'm thinking, yeah, you're keeping staying here. All right. Nurve will attack Dara next turn, but they will probably go inside the city. But this army is pretty strong now, to be honest. It's really strong, actually. Got, like, so much cavalry. This is going to be the stack that will end the reign of Rune. And the east will be severely weakened. Ah, they have more forces coming. And they are going to attack us from two sides, looks like. Or they might not. Now, we're going to see here if we... Ah, there's a lot of units right here. Now, we probably want to get rid of some of these units and then besiege Mistran and then get attacked. But we'll have to see how strong their forces are. I don't want to lose too many units. We have seen how... Devastating that can be. The Wrath of Khan. Alright, Logi Khan Mokalku, or whatever. Captain Rifat. There should be yes, another army here, I don't really understand. They might have gone back. Ah, uh, Kutula will de most definitely attack us if we start besieging Mistrand. So we're just going to defeat these two armies. And then we'll attack Mistrand, and this force plus this force. Will attack us and we'll get misrunned. Now, in the meantime, though, these Eastlings do not expect a naval attack. But do we have the sufficient force? We have two of those. Your orders, my lord. Let's just bring it like this, and let's get some couple more troops here. Yes, my lord. Actually, we could wait one more turn when I think about it. Let's get those two units. That's going to be very helpful. And Austin Eri. Yeah, you're completely left along me. And you're going down now. This is nice, very nice. Down here though, we don't have any defense at the moment. We definitely need to send some troops here. But uh, now our focus is another place. But as soon as we have taken out Austin Eri, I will send these troops back and keep up the pace around here. Right, so one more turn there. Loki Khan Mukalku is going down and Captain Rifat. Alright, I will fight these battles off camera and I will be right back. And there they go down. They actually had another army which was hidden in the woods. And that was the army we were wondering about where it was. And we finally found it and we crushed them both. Wasn't that hard? Like this crossbow, this... Horse crossbows, they are definitely a very good unit if you use them properly. You can just use them to flank and just shoot troops in the back. I think it's a very powerful unit indeed. So that's definitely a nice unit we're going to take much more advantage of from this time on. So looking forward to that. And of course we have some proper cavalry now. We have like 5 units of cavalry in this army. So it's going to be way better than the other armies we have used so far. And we saw how important the cavalry was in the bridge battle last episode. Let's execute them. And I think we can just uh, hit the Loki Khan Mukaku again. 
just get rid of him as well will not be that bad. They will have enough generals anyways. So let's just bring down the Loki Khan. And I will see you right after I brought down Mukaku. This is a battle. A great battle. Between the Avari Warriors and the last Lokarim bodyguard. He actually took down one of them, I think. Yeah. But we got one of them as well. It was two versus four. Ah, oh, these guys are coming. Maybe they will want to help as well. Yeah. It's kind of a stupid battle, but a little bit fun. But from now on, it's just stabbing and stabbing and stabbing. And in the next patch, when the Re Relentless ability comes, this will no longer be the case. Because they can actually reach out in such situations. And this will happen to Elven Generals, I believe. Probably the skin changes as well. And it's also coming to... Let me try to remember. I can't really remember on top of my head. But it's going to be nice to see that feature. So that uh, you can actually use small units to very huge potential. Looks like a fire drake from the north. Smaug the serpent. Loki Khan is dead. And now, do we want to just stand on the bridge and let these guys come? No, we're going to attack them. And these guys will just be able to aid, I think. Just barely. Yes, my lord. Yeah. Let's just bring a couple more ramps, even though we're not going to use them anyways. It's one more turn until we'll get Osin Eri. And we're trying to get some tombs here to get our culture up. And in one turn we will head out with this force and wreck havoc. Let's get the leather tanner. Nice with some more armor upgrades in our capital, I think. Ah, we got more troops here as well. Which we can probably just send to this fort. It's nice to have some reinforcements in case they... Launch another naval invasion. I like that Dale is coming over here though. I probably want to swap out the units inside here with some proper units as well. But we can wait. We don't have a lot of money. Let's end the turn then. Let's see what Rune brings to us. Will we see the fall of Mistran now? As I'm hoping we will. Now, let's see what these guys do. They didn't even attack. That might, because, that might be because they can't, actually. We'll have to see about that. Now, if we actually attack Elgar, we'll have established a very nice border. On the other hand, if we attack in the north... Yeah, I think we're going to go for Elgar. With our chip. Hornburg lost. Lord, my lord. Ah, uh, he's right outside, and he's a new Khan, a uh, new Khan as well. Yes. It's going to be a large force, but we should be able to pull this off now, after we've seen all these hard, amazing battles. And it's going to work out. We're going to capture Mistran today, boys and girls. So, these guys, you're heading inside here. Yeah. Yes, my lord. And there we go. You guys just head to the fort. As you wish. March to Your will, my lord. To glory and a victorious day. They only have this. Yeah, we're going to be able to bring them down quickly. I'm going to do that off camera though. Not a really interesting battle. Q stalled. No surprise right there. We're taking even more. Ready. Yeah. Let's just check over here Sight quickly. Sail. Ah, Wind Hidden Hour isn't even yes, taken. Sir. Or we could head up here and take them from two sides, a pinch maneuver. However, they still have Mataram, which we probably want to bring down first. Or actually not, I don't think that's that important. Let's see what they got up here. Ah, uh, it's just ours for the taking, to be honest. We might even see the destruction of Rune today, if we are really lucky. Alright, so Osinieri, you will fall. Mistran, you will fall. Rubar will fall. And then Elgar very, very quickly. And Neburka very quickly. 
and then at least to the least Mataram. Alright, we're doing very nicely now, boys and girls. Another ship. No, we don't need that at the moment. Once we get Mistran, on, our income is going to skyrocket. I'm going to start with taking Osneri. I'll just see you right after I've defeated Captain Arik. And we got it. 62 lost. Hi, Paladins. Very good job. Osneri is ours. And I think the western flank of Rune is utterly destroyed. And it's just a vast memory in the Khan's heart. Frodo and Gandalf, I mean Bilbo and Gandalf, or it could be both actually. I don't know which one it is. Probably Frodo. Ostuneri. Let's just exterminate. Oh, this makes a lot of money. Wow. Ah, uh, and we, our income is skyrocketing. Alright, let's bring those. Resistance is futile. Ah, we also got some Darwinian infantry. That's wonderful. These guys are just going to stay here in case they launch a naval invasion during the last very few. Let's see. We can actually bring out these guys. I'm going to bring a couple of watchtowers up here. Oh, they still hold this area as well? Are you kidding me? Alright, we'll have to go straight for those though. Let's get the standing stones first. Actually, we are fine. Let's get this one and then this one. Yeah, that's really surprising. Rune has... They press very hard. We'll soon be... Fighting off Dol Guldur, it looks like. I hate fighting Dol Guldur. That's such a struggle. It takes so long. You can see that in my Wooden Realm campaign. We attacked them way too late. Because it was a Total War campaign. And we fought other factions. And it just took way too long than we wanted. Alright, this is just going to be a walk in the park. Not a walk in the park, but they don't really have anything that can offer or yield much damage to us, except for these guys and their generals. Ah, feared. Known for adopting less than admiral tactics for to achieve victory. Alright. Chief of the Barkov. I will fight these guys off. I don't think it's watch worthy. And I will see you after we have brought down Mistrum the Great. And there the last goes down. Avadivors now have the Golden Chevron. We lost 45%, it was a tough battle, but we brought them down. I did a couple of bad micromanagements there, but it's fine. We are victorious and we hold Mistrand. Let's see now, where is the remnants? We just want to make sure we capture them all. Let's just bring down the very last. There we go. Alright, that is just wonderful. Or did they actually capture him? I want all East Links dead. There we go. Alright, 834 lost. The, the Thorn Riders performing very well. Yeah, they got like 600 kills altogether. Perhaps more like 700. But that was definitely a nice battle. This looks like Hurin Thalion and Nienor. I've been reading the Silmarillion again and I refreshed my knowledge. And the first age is definitely an interesting time of period. Much more interesting than I thought priorly. It's nice having some knowledge about the first age now. There is no glory. Ah, oh, 13,000. Wow. An honorable glory. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding yes, me? They just went to rebel. All right, but we have brought down the Eastlings of Rune. But now... <laughs> Now we got a siege out of Mistrand. Your orders, my wow. Lord. I guess that's just good though. It's just going to make it a real cakewalk Ships from this ready. point on. Wow, good job boys. Orders. Now I'm tempted to not go out for the Scorch Plains. I'm going to let Dolgaldor take that actually. We have marched our limit. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to prepare against Mordor now. Mataram oh, Mordor is probably going to be drawn to this attention. Yes, my lord. To battle, we shall prevail. Yes, 
And they can hold out for six turns, that's stupid. My lord. I think we're actually going to send some cavalry lord, around and just pick up these towns quite easily. Orders. But that is victory. Jeez, it is victory indeed. We gotta eliminate Mordor, of course, as well. But that's not the only faction I'm going to eliminate. But we already hold 11. Alright, we'll need 19 more. Ships we're heading for Ruban now. I think actually, yeah, this, they got some other army around. This is going to take Rubar and Elgar with this army. And then yes, Nurve can take out Mistrand and Mataram. But our income is not going to skyrocket. That's a little bit annoying because I was hoping to just get... To get to Mistrand that turn. And that might even have been better, but uh, yeah, I think this is nice. Let's uh, end the turn. These guys can just... Oh, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's get them there. Want to save some money now. Let's end the turn. Now, I don't know whether we want to attack Mistran or not. They have a pretty large garrison, and I want the army we have now to survive for a little while. But this is going to be very wealthy now, once we get all the regions around the Sea of Varun. We're going to bring in so much money. So we have killed off Rune in the 39th episode. I think that's not too bad. Mistran overrun. Rune wanes. Yeah, it's not really overrun just yet. Alright. Let's head off to Rubar. Taking the troops ashore. Yeah, Lord, this is going to be an easy battle. What do they got? Dardetai Hunters. I'm just going to leave this guy sieging it out. And we'll capture it. Oh, there is actually another army here. And then we can't attack those guys. That sucks. Let's just hope they will sell out against this army. Yes, my lord. Actually, we can just besiege it. It will be able to take the land next turn. It doesn't really matter. And in the meantime... Yeah, they don't have a very large force there either. Did we have a spy? Where is our spy now? He's right here. Alright, I wanted to check what they got here. Ah, we can actually bring that down with like two cavalry units. My lord. My lord. I think that is going to be sufficient, actually. Uh, yeah, we're going to avoid that army. But they can help yes, out over there as well. Alright, let's just send a couple. Let's send these guys as well. And these guys. Let's just merge these two and actually bring these two over here. And we're going to hit Elgar. Your orders, my lord. Now, they don't really have a very strong garrison here, but they have these extra wall defenses. I don't know if they have ballistic towers or not. They have extra wall defenses and they're just so, so dangerous. But it might actually be sufficient. It might actually be smart to just yes, take them maybe. down now. Let's see. One, two. We don't have much infantry though. Not at all. Yeah, we actually lack some infantry here. Let's send these guys. And let's uh, take them down the next turn. Now, you know what? Let's just do it. We have Nurve. We should be able to pull this off. We should. Let's just uh, double check. Yeah, we gotta get the thumb. And here we're getting the standing stones. Meeting hall. And Lord Swain, you're just going to build a couple of towers. This army can actually just... I think we can just... Ah, uh, they have taken this uh, place now. We don't want war with Dol Guldor just yet. That's going to be a pain in the ass. We're going to wait a little bit. I guess you guys could just head up to... You guys can head up to Santa Anui. Just stay there as a garrison. While you guys, I think we can just abandon it. I think so, actually. We can send a cop another unit down here. 
these guys can go down here. We need to abandon these guys. Just get more money. That's like 300 more a turn. We're starting to make some money now. And once we take out these other settlements, we'll be fine. Rubar yes, will fall quickly and Elgar will fall quickly. Mistran, let's just see that. Yeah, they are outnumbering us though. But the troops aren't very well. I'm going to wait for these guys though. I at my least lord. want to have the same numbers. Because those ballista towers can be a real Your pain. Will, Let's use these guys as a no spy in the meantime. War, and we're just going to get all these thumbs. I want some more cavalry though. And let's save the rest of the money. Let's just end the turn and see what will happen. But we have grown into a, a little empire at this point. And I think our tactics worked out pretty well. I don't know how long it usually takes to bring down the rune, but I think this was a pretty nice tempo. 39 turns, should, that's not too bad. But I don't really know. Oh, jeez. I will not waste words on you. Your will, my lord. Ah, those actually retreated back in. Orders. Your will, my lord. You, my lord. As you wish. Joining forces. Yes, you know what? Uh, I'll use Havin uh, for Rubar and Elgar. I'll just retreat Orders. these guys, and we're going to yes. bring we them together with. Nurve and just bring it down immediately we're going to earn so much more money per turn so it's going to be worth um, losing a lot of troops actually your orders my lord my lord laying in wait for the enemy steps of the way in riders yeah it's completely empty i think the next enemy i want to head out for is actually mordor even though dolguldor is probably going to be an enemy i really want to hit mordor first Uh, that's going to be... Let's just try. It's actually 50-50. Let's see how this favors us. Wow. Is it not I am Are you not kidding wrong. me? Like, that should be well met, the same man, match, friends. to be honest. Where did our chip go? Completely gone. It looks like. Alright. Yes. As you command. I'm just going to auto-resolve that battle. And let's just Honorable sack the place. Ah, oh, 1,000? You're Milord, not kidding me. That's some good money. Definitely. Conquered. Your orders, my lord. Leave Your behind order, these guys. Lord. That's going to be fine. Yes, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over the land. And just head out Your for order, Elgar. Lord, You're going to go down here. We need you where Mother is now. Alright, so we're going to start making more money eventually. We get the standing stones here. Dragon's Wrath Guild. Yeah, it actually gives us a melee weapon bonus. So let's keep that. Yes. As you come on. These guys are not coming in as reinforcements though, but that's fine. A lot of our number just consists of these troops though. Uh, I'm not sure if we can actually bring them down with these guys. We should be able to, but... Yeah, we're going to lose so much more. Yeah, we're going to earn so much more money per turn. It's going to be worth it. We're going to do it. We're going to just try it. Let's try it. Yes, my lord. I will see you on the battlefield, I think. Alright. Now we're going to see the deadly ballista towers I'm talking about. Because they are definitely. Just look at this. Oh, jeez. They are dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I've sent two rams. Trying to attack from two sides, I think that's going to be worth it. And eventually I'm going to send these guys in and use them as crossbows inside the city. Uh, over here, I hope they just abandon this place and just go inside the city. I think they're not going to do that though. We might want to send... Yeah, these guys are not going to hold this place very well. I just really want them to all retreat to the town center. Because you have no idea how overpowered those uh, ballista towers are. At least they're not on the walls at the moment. 
That's very good. Alright, uh, these guys will just stay here for the meantime. I think we could send another unit over there though. And I will probably see you when the battles tighten up. Alright, so this is the plan. We have sent in all of these guys and we're just going to slaughter this unit. Like, going through the gate is just... It's deadly. We're just going to await because these our towers are out of this world strong. And all of these guys have actually gathered up here. I'm kind of tempted to actually send all of these cavalry all the way around and actually send them to the town square. Right, let's send these guys over here. And if we are very, very lucky, we might be able to defeat these guys very quickly. The battle is very much in our favor. And the then we are out. just going to block this entrance with our thorn bladesmen, and we will capture the town. That's going to be our our main plan right here. These guys will be slaughtered now. And this is how you use these guys properly. Just shoot them in the back with the crossbows. That's just so overpowered. Alright, let's play them like this. These guys will hold up fine. Now I give them some Wallace boys. Let's see what happens when we capture the gate. If they will actually run down here. Oh yeah, that's what you want to see. Yeah, we actually capture the gate now. And then they will run back. Let's just go out again. I think we're going to lose most of our force if we go through this gate. Now let's see how far these guys have come. All right. Ah, we actually killed the enemy general. That's wonderful. Let's send them over here. And we're probably going to start capturing the town center in not too long. Let's actually just charge them in and we'll probably break this unit. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hold them here now because this unit is too small. Victory will be ours. There we go. They should go down right there. And then we should start capturing the town center. And then they will all run to the town center. And then we will be able to probably take the walls and just rush into the city. Yeah, I think that's going to work out. Alright, now let's send these guys over here. Try to stop these guys from entering. And in the meantime... These guys are going to stand like right here, and they're just going to shoot. And then we bring in this cavalry, and they will also do some nice work. These guys seem to be occupied for the meantime, which is very excellent. Let's try to bring them all the way down here, actually, and just keep them occupied over there. I think they're actually just standing still right here. Alright, no, they're actually coming. Let's just stand them like this. And we're going to put them in guard mode. And we're going to bring another unit over here. We're just going to sacrifice these guys. And we should get a lot of kills right here. If they get the proper angle. Yeah, they are. Wonderful. Now you guys, let's send in, yeah, these mercenaries, just get them in there, and we'll have the city. It's a really cheeky way to get it, but it works out when these police towers are just too devastating. Because I definitely don't recommend you to use these, like, use gates when they have a lot of troops there, you're just going to lose. In this patch, it's just so hard. Like I tried in my, remember, I, re I remember I tried in my Isengard campaign to test them out and my Nazkai were killed in less than a minute with those towers the is very much in our favor. and Victory the general was just out. killed very quickly and from that point on I decided I should never assault this is a clear the cities in that way because just overpowered. Alright, we got them. 
Mistran and the sea is now ours. And this is really the sign of our victory. Now I think sacking is fine. Exterminating will probably bring down a lot of income. But sacking and placing a proper general inside will probably be the most useful. Alright, let's Honor, occupy. Victory. I mean sack. A most ah, wonderful. Conquest. Yeah, we're now making loads of money. Let's see if there's anything we can bring down. No. Let's just get the standing stones here next. Orders. Your will, my lord. Your orders, and my lord. yeah, these guys can just orders. stay. Your will, Let's see what will happen if we bring yes, out all of these. They're still not too lord, mad though. That's pretty nice. My lord. Orders. By your I want these victory. Yes, these guys that have tasted victory my to lord. stand inside the city and enjoy your themselves. Will, as well as Help these guys, as yeah. And Nurva, go as down and take out command. Mataram. My lord. We'll probably need a couple more troops. These guys are on their way. Let's send these guys as well. Your will, my lord. To war, then. And in these my parts, lord. yeah, yes. it's nice that he's getting Orders. there right now. Yes. Let's build not, another watchtower. A watchtower. Ah, it's just Dorthalu. They don't even have a garrison, actually. As you wish. But if we take them down, Dol Guldur is going to go for us straight away, or not. In not too long, I mean. Let's just skirt around here. We don't want war with Dol Guldur just yet. Yeah, it's time to start building stuff again. We want to start building parts and such. We want to bring in so much money from that. Continuing tomorrow. We have marched our limit. We have marched our limit. And we're getting the Thumb in all of these places. That's good. Can we bring out these guys? Yeah, we actually can. I think this is going to be our next target. Uh, yeah. Elgar will fall. And we get, gotta take the Burka back, of course. Alright, I think we need some more ships, actually. Can build one here. <coughs> Sorry, just a little bit. <coughs> my not, my, uh, my voice is still fucked up. All right, let's end the turn. Sorry about the language right there. Uh, yeah. Nabarka, Elgar. I think we're just going to clean up the old settlements of Runa. Just actually just set up some proper economy and culture. I bring word from my no. people. We are not going to do that. We can go for some map info. I do not think you would accept it. No. No? Uh, they have really seen that they're Useless. going to struggle once we attack them. Gondor and uh, Darwinian on both their sides. And Baradur itself is going to be a tower where streams of wine flows down from the great, great... Oh, they're actually attacking some kind of ship over there. We'll actually get 1,500 for taking Dorthalu. So I'm just going to do that right away. Defeated. And just head away. Yes, my lord. Yeah, Dolgaldor is certainly going to be at war with us now. But we can actually recruit uh, people here. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit before I attack them. But it might be wise to go for them. All right, we got those troops in Strondos now. Orders. Marching to your orders, my lord. My lord. Let's use this as a spy. Yes. Yeah. Nobody here. My lord. Yes, Let's my assault lord. Elgar. As you command, we shall prevail. Yes. Getting the standing stones here. Karasant, we definitely need to build some more stuff here. I think it's about time we get a great hall. We can't even have any upkeep here. And it's not a really good recruitment center. Let's get the great hall right away. And Sant Anui. 
can wait a little bit. Let's get the land clearance. Up here we actually find. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Now Mordor or Dolgaldor, we gotta decide. I think yeah, Mordor, but it's probably more wise to go for Dolgaldor because they have so many borders. And if we just attack them in a sudden attack, we're going to get a lot of their lands just thrown away really quickly. Yeah, I think we can definitely take a large Lord, chunk of Lord. their land if we really want. Yes, my lord. Making camp here. We hold a pretty large amount of land now. Lord, right, these guys are headed there, and these guys are headed. Let's just end the turn, I think. Now, these guys the right warriors. here I want to have in... Fought and just yes. March to They're just going to stay there for the rest of the campaign. Oh, we actually have this ship right here Leave me be. Yeah, there's no way we can actually let's just bring it down save 50 more coins per turn Yes, my lord You're actually making some money, but you're probably costing us more anyways 280, yeah. You're probably, you could probably set up in Mistran actually. Yes. Just bring in some money Make there. Orders. And then we can leave a couple of units. Yes, my lord. Let's end the turn. It was nice to bring down Rune though. They were a pain in the ass. And they expand very rapidly and in a very weird way. Like they just go all around very quickly to the west and yeah Moro just keeps bothering us they really want an alliance it's quite funny how it says that the Nuburka is still uh, runic though because like we haven't been to the island since they were broken down or before they were broken down so it will still say there. It's a runic island. Ah, well, Brew World would be one of the best units available. Yeah, Dorthalo can just rebel. Actually, that's actually just what we want. We're just going to build, bring down everything we got here. Actually, we'll just let uh, go take a shitty place. Yes, erecting a watchtower. We yeah, have you have some land to cover here, boy. Long ship, right. Ships ready, my lord. You go into the fort. You go down here. My lord. And your so lord, are you. We shall engage. We're going to bring in we so much money prevail. once these settlements are all in our hands. Let's see what Mother is doing. But Let's can we get some mines here? No. Let's perhaps get we are going to need uh, recruitment here. Because once Mother is. Yeah, won't stay awake. I mean, or Dolgaldor. We will need some free upkeep around here as well. Your will, my lord. Yes. By your command, my lord. Alright, you will, just head out here. Marching to war. Yes, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. Alright, those your are inside now. And fourth one will bring this lord. land to peace. Will, as you wish. Yeah, and they will be completely fine actually. Let's just take this fort. And I guess I can abandon you too. And you can just stay inside. No, we can just abandon you as well. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. I kind of want to just alter all that to be honest. Honorable, glorious Sack the settlement. My lord, our this is honor what you get for alter though. You have to kind of repair all of these. Oh, we got the armor here. That's nice. That's really nice. Let's get the standing stones. And let's merge the units. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. All right, now we're starting to make real money. Yes. Can we bring lord. out we can even this bring out the wine region here. The but we probably want this, this ship over here. Over we want land. to bring the burka down. And these guys are really annoying. I think we can actually recruit a couple more 
cogs if we just go right there. A fine day to sail. Ah, that's a nice port actually. Or is it a port? No, it's just a fishing village. Ships ready. Is it not obvious I am your foe? All right, let's see how this goes. Ships ready. That was probably stupid. We should probably have waited one more turn. All right, I'm tempted to go for the ship right here. Let's see how much that brings in. That wasn't much. What about the merchant's worth? Yeah, that's not a lot either. That's really weird. They are supposed to bring in a lot of money. Trading post. What about them? They should probably bring in some. Other oh, like the grain exchange for Gondor. Uh, let's just save a little bit more money before we spend anything. Let's just make sure we have built standing stones and culture buildings in all of our places now. Let's get the tomb here, and let's get the great hall afterwards. My lord. And off the bed, we have nice culture. Let's get the chicken farming so that we can get this culture up. Just get it now, as we have a, such a large region, we should get a lot of uh, communal farming. That's going to very heavily, yes, yeah, give us a lot of more income. Is it with me you wish to speak? You're all right, end the turn. But this episode has probably lasted for way too long now. I, I just keep. Uh, Keep missing uh, the track of time when I play. I'm so into it and I really enjoy it. So let's make this the last turn. And let's see what it brings to us. We're going to take Mataram at least and hopefully head out for Neborka and bring that down as well. Alright. Weaponsmith skill, that looks pretty nice. I want to build that actually. Moranin is besieged. They're really struggling. Yes, it's not we that they're actually asking us yes. for help here. Ships. Your orders, my lord. Was it in Elgar? Yeah. It was here actually. Cool. Melee weapon bonus. My lord. All by your command. Let's leave my lord. these guys Weapons. and my lord. Your will, my lord. These guys, and by let's bring command. these guys out. Actually, they are not headed the off sure. just yet. I'm going to wait until we have headed them off. Now we have a lot of money, though. Let's. The pot should bring in more money. It's giving us more population growth. Yeah, and it's starting to work out. Shipwrights seem to be a nice idea. Shipwrights and communal farming, so that's going to be the main idea here. And of course we need to get the culture up in these places. Yes, my lord. As you command. There we go. Glory. Sack the sa wow, Victory. this makes a lot of money. A most I think that's our most wealthy region actually. It's because of this mining network. Yeah, we're now making 12,000 a turn. Wow, boys and girls. Let's get the standing stones. Orders. We're now holding a large chunk of land. And I am I think that the Varys of Khan are going to start bothering us in not too long. I'm going to use him to build up a couple of towers. I think we can abandon these guys. And for now, I think we're just going to kind of... Kind of just let... Let ourselves build ourselves up a little bit. Because, yeah. Let's get the community farming right there. We do want to bring these settlements... Get some culture here, just so that we can be able to attack these... Places when we need to. Let's get a, another tower here. And we're actually going to check what happens Continue over here. Tomorrow. It's kind of cool that um, I guess it's Gondor that is assaulting Moranon. 
Austin Airy, let's get Accident Dirt Paths, it's a pretty good idea. We have a nice clutch here already. We're going to build some garrison quarters eventually. Alright, I'm going to do one last turn so that we can just bring down the Burka and completely have brought down Rune. And it's not even a garrison there, so that's fine. But do you see how wealthy Matharam was? That's really, really good. It's actually Santa Anui, which is our wealthiest region, but Mataram is like the same. That's really good. Uh, again, they keep bothering us. Hail and well met. We have All something right. for you. It is good to deal with those. That no, we're not going to accept that. Like they're basically just shitting themselves right now. Having Gondor besieging the Black Gate, and the entire East is devastated. Yeah, there's no doubt who our next enemy should be. The might of mother is going down. Yeah, the fellow I just wanted to go down. So that Dolgondor can take it before we have... Um, I just want them to bring it down. Yeah, it's actually a uh, village now. That's perfect. That's just what we wanted. All right, Wine Lord Swain, you head over here and you build a tower. And we can't really see what's happening on right here, but let's go back. We can disband this unit as well as this unit. Fine. Get a port. Yeah, that's going to be a nice bonus right here. Very nice bonus indeed. Let's get communal farming here. Port right here would be nice. Yeah, isn't bringing too much money. Probably the dirt paths then. Karasant, we need to get rid of these ships. We can actually recruit some high paladins. Another general, that would be useful. Let's get the tomb, and that's going to be it. Your order, Taking the troops ashore. And it's yes, completely empty. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. And it's Be back, and we got some Dorvinian we infantry. Engage. We have two and of those now. Let's just head Resume. them over here. And peace is restored to Dorvinian. And we're making loads more money because of this. Let's just leave will, these two on the Burka. Let's Your get order. Haven back. Ships ready. Yeah, let's get them back to Karasant. But there we should definitely end the episode. We have done... Oh, wow. These guys are already on their way. Yeah, we're probably seeing some action, I guess, can't. I think it's time we just stay here for now. But yeah, it has been a very eventful episode. We brought down the entirety of Rune. We took out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settlements in one video. Actually, we got the, the Thalo as well, if you count that. So, eight, eight settlements in one video. That's got to be a record on this channel, I think. Not even in our Erebor campaign, we took out so many in one episode. That is pretty, pretty insane, actually. Eight settlements. Wow. But I'm really happy. We have done our first objective. And we're actually halfway to the regions we need to complete the campaign. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, uh, leave a like and do comment on what place in Middle Earth you want to visit and also support me via Patreon if you want. I'll see you guys for the next episode.